welcome back. So, in our introduction to this course, uh, in the last, in the first video, we look at how we can come about with the confidence interval, the margin error, and it was a whole lot of point stuff of concepts. Yeah. So now we are here to come and use all this knowledge we have gained there to solve a problem. Alright, good. You know, all that we are studying in mathematics is we being able to go out and use that to solve problems. So now, let's look at one uh, real life situation question. In a voter card verification, 280 trials were taken, of which 1, 2, 3 correct identification were verified. Uh, contract a 95% confident interval for the population. Good. So, as we have already discussed, the steps. What the first one? Uh -huh. The first step, the first step is to find out our P hat, our Q hat and our n is that also because we need it in calculating for our margin error all right so let's go and identify it hmm. so now you can see that if we get p hat we can know q hat right so uh you know the p hat that is the sample proportion of the population, right? Good. So that will be the what? The number of successful charts over the number of what? Of the sample. So that will be the x over the what? The n. Which is here you know that our x is always the least one. Because always if the number, the number will be greater than the what? The charts will go. Okay? That's how it's going to be. So the trial is the successful trial. So I'll say the person saying that in a voter's card verification, 280 trials were taken. So that's the number of trials. Of which one, two, three, correct identification. So the correct one is the successful one. So one, two, three over. 280. Alright. And this is going to give us 0.4393. And we are saying that this is uh, the point what estimate that we are going to use to estimate the what? The population. Okay. So let's move on. Then the next step is to use the confidence level to find the what? The Z alpha. So the step two is to use the what? The confidence what? Level in order to find the what? The Z alpha. So what is the confidence level? The confidence level is 95 what? Percent. 95 what? Percent. And we know this is the same as 0 0.95. Right? You see, in this question, the alpha is not given to you. So you are going to use this to come out with the alpha. So what do you need to add to this to get one? What do you need to add to this? You can see that you need 0 0.05 to add to this to get what? One. So that becomes your, your alpha. Alright. I explained to you in the, uh, uh, the first video. Good. So now, now that we know our alpha. Oh, so, oh, don't worry. <laughs> sorry, sorry. After getting the B hat, then we can go for our comeback. We can go for Q hat, right? That is 1 minus what? The B hat. So that will be 1 minus 0 0.4393. And that is going to give us 0 0.5. 
are identify our alpha here. So we know that alpha here is 1 minus alpha. Oh, sorry. 1 minus. Let me use this to be my A, okay? Let me say that this that I'm having here is A. So to get the alpha is 1 minus what? The A. Okay? And we know 1 minus A, and the A is what? 0 0.95. Therefore, the alpha will be 0 0.05. Alright, so let me use that for you to understand it more. Good. So after getting this, then you now come back to find your z score, right? So you draw your normal distribution table. Sorry, curve. <laughs> you draw your normal distribution curve. Beautiful. Now, we are saying that this is going to be the 95 percent confidence what? Level. So this is going to be our confidence level. So, if here is 95, then what will be here and here? That's going to be the alpha one level. That's going to be the area 0 0.015. But this 0.05 you have here is not for only this and it's not for only this. So you cannot write, you tell not to write 0 0.05. 0.05. So you dare not. <laughs> yeah, you dare not to do that. No, that is wrong. Alright, so you can't do this. What you can do is that. You have to divide here by 2 and divide here by 2. So you are going to get alpha over 2 to be equal to, so take a calculator, 0.05 divided by 2. And that's going to give you 0.025. I hope you can see that. So this alpha over 2 is going to be 0.025. 0 0 0 then here it's going to give you alpha. 0.025. Okay? Alright, so that's how it's going to be. So now we are going to use this to determine your what? Your Z score. And you know, you know your Z score for this in the same as it says that this will be the gate. Alright. So let's assume. I'm going to assume that I don't know the common for the common vector value for 95% or 0 0.05. So I'm going to teach you how to get it so that when you get a different percentage, you can also come out with it. So that's what we are going to do. Beautiful. So now, uh, this 0.025 that we have, we are going to subtract it from 0 0.5. So 0 0.5 minus because we know the area sum out to what? 100. Right, which is the same uh, in percentage, you say 100, but it's the same as 1. Good. So, if you, we are going to specify, we know here is 0. So, if here is the whole of it is 1, then here is 0 0.5. Here is 0 0.5. Right. So, we are going to base on this side. Right. So, if the area here, If the area here is 0 0.025, then we can get the area here. Is that also? We can get the area here. So we subtract 0 0.5 from 0 0.025 in order to get the area there. And that's going to give you 0 0.5 minus 0 0.025. That's going to be 0 0.4. Seven five. All right. So that means that the area there, the area within here, is zero point what seven five. So when you get this, all right. 
So when you get this, then you come back to your area under the normal cake, your table, right? I hope you can see that. When you come to your table, you are going to trace this. Everything here is the area. The within here is the area, right? So you are going to trace 0.475 on the table. It can be that, please listen to it well, because right after this question, I will be explaining how to read it again for you in the, in the other ones coming. All right. So it can be that you will not get exactly 0.475, but you can get what is close to that, but not what is above. So let's see. 0.475. So you watch. Check, check. You can check your own. Check here. 0.475. 475. Oh, okay. See. Check where the 1.9 is. Here. The 1.9 here. I, I, I hope you can see that. The 1.9 here. Check that row. If you check that row, you see everything here is in four decimal place. So let's add zero here. Right. So if you add zero there, you can see that at the 1.9, when you check, we have 0 0.4744, 0 0.4750. I hope you can see that. 0.475 what? Zero. All right. All right. I hope you can see it. So, the 0.4750 is the same as what we have in here. Adding the zero or without adding the zero is the same thing. So, that means that you check where that is. And at your row here, the number we have here is 1.9. So, this is the upper over 2, 1.9. So, after knowing that, at the 1.9 that you get that, trace to the top here. What value is there? So, you see, you trace it like that, like this. How we can see that? All right. So, when you trace it, the value here is what? 6. Aha. It's like a car is moving to this side. Another car coming. Where would they meet? They will meet here. So that value here is 6. So that means that alpha z alpha over 2 here is going to be 1.96. But since here you didn't do the negation, you negate here, then z alpha over 2 here will be 1.96. Right. So that's going to be that if you don't know how to read it please make sure you practice and practice all work all right good it's not the case that you can get exactly what you have here it's not the case that there can be that what you have you will not get exactly that but you get something which is closed you get something which is closed so when you get something which is closed then you find what is left for you to add up to this in order to no to add up to what you have here in order for you to get exactly what you want then you go and trace those then let's say i'm left with uh two to get to what i want then from that place i'll go straight and trace it to and trace that two or that one or that four or that five to this side then i check what is here then I add up to this one also. So the ones here, then you add up to this one also. I'll try and see if I get some thing like that. Good. So for what we have here, this is what we are going to do for that. All right. So now let's continue to calculate our margin of error. So, okay, so this is the Z alpha. So after getting that, then we move to the third stage. 
what is you finding the heart? The B heart times the Q heart over heart. Alright. So yeah, it's just a fusion that we are going to do. We know this is what? The Z alpha. We know the Z alpha over 2 is 1.69. Yeah, please don't use the negation part. 1.69. The positive side is what you use. We know the B hat is also equal to. What is the B hat? 0.4393. And we know the Q hat is equal to 0.5607. How do you can see that? Alright. So the error will be 1.69. You see that? Square root of this is that 0.4393 multiplying by the Q which is 0.5607 then you divide by the odd, the N and the N is what? you know the N is 2, 8 alright, so take your reflector and punch it clicks you have to be careful it's whether you point everything together or Point this one first when you are going to multiply by this. And when you do that, your results is going to be it's going to be 0 0.05 you 0581. Good. So that's how it's going to be. So the third stage will give you the what? Your error. That is your margin of one error. So here, we know that our margin of error is going to be 0 0.05821. Thank you. Now let's move to the thing, the last part. So, this part is when, uh, now you know your margin of error and the point estimate. Okay, then you can use the point estimate to estimate the what? The population by the using the confidence what? Uh, use, uh, using the interval. So, you know it's going to be the P, P hat plus the error, then the left side will be uh, P hat minus the error. You know this, you know that, alright? So that means that I'm going to get 0 0.4, that is this, the P hat. 0 0.4393 minus the error. And the error is 0 0.05. Eight one. Alright. So that is going to be on this side. So with this, less than P, less than this. So this one to be 0 point, 0 point 0.4393. Oh, you, you can see from there. Alright. Plus, the same thing, but change this to plus. 0 0.058. So finally, we get 0 0.3812 less than B, less than 0 0.4924. Beautiful. Or you can present this as you can present this as 0 0.4393 plus or minus. 0 0.0581. Beautiful. So that's going to be our interval. Now we are not yet done. Year is when after year you are going to what? Interpret your what? Your results. So the interpretation of these results is just going to be something simple. It's just that hmm, I don't know. I don't know what, or I don't know my population, so I don't know my what population. I don't know my population proportion is. I don't know what my population proportion is, but I'm ninety-five percent sure that 
it will fall within this word interval. So let me write for you. It's just simple. The interpretation. I don't know what my population proportion is, but I'm ninety five, and you know it from the question ninety five percent sure that. It will fall within the interval within the interval zero point three eight one to less than P less than zero point four nine two four. Beautiful. So that's going to be your interpretation of the results. And mm, see you in the next video. Please don't forget to solve more questions. If you don't understand anything, go back and play back again.